The Foreigner is about these two English blokes who come to the States. For my character, he's going through some stuff, so it's a nice chance for him to have some peace and quiet, which is really the opposite of what he gets. I can't help feel that he's being, being, ding, dong, ding. Good morning, Charlie. You must be talking to Frog. In this particular shoe production at the Grand in Salem, Oregon, the audience is in on the joke from the very beginning. It revolves around the character of Charlie. It's supposedly he does not speak English. Why was you putting that glass in your head, Ellen? It was just something we were doing. No, now you know better than to tell me that. Now, if Charlie wants to put a glass on his head, that's fine. That, no, Charlie, no, put it on, that's fine. That means that that's what they do in his country at breakfast time. Evidently, they all put glasses on For most of the cast, it is, goes completely over their heads for the entire show. So uh, the audience just gets to revel in the, uh, the main secret. This is a high energy show. There's all these little dominoes that are set up in the beginning that we just steadily knock away. There's a lot of fun twists and turns that happen. And we get to see a lot of character shifts. Hopney, skipney, hopney, skipney. A mookly conk, a mookly conk. Hopney, skipney, mookly conk. Hopney, mookly conk. The, the foreigner framed um, some very sensitive issues in a really delicate and humorous way. Uh, this gives us an up close and personal sort of look at those issues. And you know what I do? I pour hot coke down the necks like this. Oh. <laughs> well, this is sort of fun. Say anything you want to so long as you're smiling, can't you? Underneath all that is just a really, really funny story. It's really fun. You have nothing to lose by coming down and seeing this show. Oh, here he is back. Oh, 